in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus i would like to welcome each one of you to this thunder of god may the holy spirit speak to your heart and now this is the time of giving him glory and honor so let us praise and thank the lord one who is alive the book of psalms chapter 50 verse 14 offer to god a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the most high let us give him glory and honor hallelujah, hallelujah. thank hallelujah. you jesus hallelujah. praise you jesus hallelujah. we worship your we glorify your name glorify oh you are the king of kings and lord of lords jesus thank you lord praise you jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you lord our god and king His love endures forever For He is good He's above all things His love endures forever Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Sing praise Forever God is faithful above all things is love and just forever sing praise sing praise sing praise sing praise, yeah. sing praise. forever god is faithful my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus the letter of saint paul to the philippians is a very very beautiful letter because he wrote this letter from prison though he was in the jail his heart was filled with joy so he uses the word joy 25 times in his letter to the philippians and in the fourth chapter of his letter to philippians verse 6 is very beautiful 
Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 there he speaks about the form of prayer that we should use so he is introducing a very beautiful method of prayer so let us listen to the word of god do not worry about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god though he was in the prison he says to the people of god do not worry about anything but what should you do so when you pray when you make supplication you have to do them with thanksgiving so when we give him glory and honor when we pray to jesus when you pray to god our father you have to do with the thanksgiving then what happens the peace of christ which surpasses all our understanding will keep our minds and hearts in christ jesus so in order to receive peace from god we should pray with the thanksgiving so this is very very important bible verses praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus. jesus while i was studying in the seminary maybe in my early 20s i did not have this attitude of gratitude i was a man of complaining maybe we can call a bundle of complaints i never thank the lord from my heart for all his blessings and all his anointings i used to make lots of complaints for example some if, if i had a headache then i complained oh what a headache it is one day i had an opportunity to go for a picnic with my my brothers then we were sitting in a seashore in alappi back in kerala in india and a few kids they were deaf and dumb kids they came there with some teachers but their presence really attracted me because they were full of joy full of joy and one of them leaders she could uh, speak a little little bit she asked her teachers who are these young brothers then she told that we are seminarians and they were very much pleased to understand that then they began to perform a few beautiful arts before us that means some of them uh, danced uh, some of them made a beautiful uh, drama Uh, though, though they were not able to speak they did it with their actions very beautiful after doing all the all these things uh, they began to join their hands together and they closed their eyes and one of the girls who had a little ability to speak she began to sing a, a malayalam song that it was in thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus for giving us eyes thank you jesus for giving us ears though it was not very clear she did the action and other children joined her that really touched my heart these poor children many of them were deaf and dumb they were thanking god for all the gifts then i thought lord you have given me eyes ears tongue hands you have given me lots of blessings i never never thanked you from the my heart i began to cry that instance moved my heart that day onwards the lord has given me a heart of gratitude just certain one of the very important persons in the uk he said a very a christian writer said the best giving is thanksgiving 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we thank God, what happens? We are participating in his work, especially we get lots of deliverance when we give him glory and honor. For example, there is a beautiful instance in the Old Testament. We all know the story of Jonah. In chapter 2, Jonah was making a thanksgiving prayer. As you know, Jonah was disobedient. The Lord asked him to go to Nineveh, but he went to Tarsus because he feared the people of Nineveh. So he went to Tarsus. He was, he was a disobedient prophet. Then what happened? The Lord sent a big fish and it swallowed him. And in the belly of the fish, Jonah made a prayer. So, in that prayer, there is a few, one or two beautiful sentences. So, verse 9 and 10. Please listen to that. But I, with the voice of thanksgiving, will sacrifice to you what I have vowed I will pay. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. You see, Jonah was praying, I will give him thanks. I will offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving to my God. Then what happens? The next sentence. Then the Lord spoke to the fish and it spewed Jonah out upon the dry land. So Jonah received deliverance only when he began to thank the Lord. Though he was in the belly of the fish, when he decided to give him glory and honor, or when he started thanking the Lord, what happened? The Lord ordered the fish and he got deliverance. Praise the Lord. Praise so the Lord. this thanksgiving and deliverance go together. While I was a parish priest back in Coimbatore in India, a, a man came to me and he said his wife is bedridden for 40 days. They were very rich family, so they tried all the medications, but everything failed. So they came to me and asked my prayers. And, they, and he said to me, Father, will you please come uh, and pray for my, my wife? Then I went with him. When I entered the house, I was really shocked because the lady was paralyzed. Like she was paralyzed. For 40 days, she was not able to get up or eat anything. So uh, she was very, very ill. Then I started to pray. Then the Holy Spirit reminded me to ask them to offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Then I said to the man, let us thank the Lord for all the blessings the Lord has given to your family. So uh, his parents were there and her sisters and brothers were there. So we gathered together and we began to thank the Lord for the blessings the Lord had already poured out in their lives. So after a few minutes of thanksgiving, what happened? I could feel the presence of the Holy Spirit there. I could feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. Then again, I got an inspiration to do some deliverance prayers. Then I said a few deliverance prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Then suddenly, I asked her to get up. Then what happened? The power of God came to her and she got up from, the, from her bed. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Then the Lord taught me a big lesson. There is a connection between thanksgiving praise and deliverance. So my dear brothers and sisters, you may have some bondages. So you, or your family members may have some bondages. Your partner or your brother or sister may have some bondages. Offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving. It is very, very powerful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 14. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And pay your vows to the Most High. And pay your vows to the Most High. Again, verse 23. Those who bring thanksgiving as their sacrifice, honor me. To those who go to the right way, I will show the salvation of God. You see, 
the salvation of god that means deliverance so it is connected with this attitude of thanksgiving praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus a few years back while father savior gan was doing a big bible crusade back in india in kerala it started to rain so thousands of people were gathered there then father suddenly prayed lord please show your mercy after this days of program we all will come to your presence we will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving for one hour so it was a special prayer and after this prayer what happened really the lord showed his mercy no rain in that area but two or three miles away there was heavy rain praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord i remember the whole day the lord protected the that special area where the program was going on from the rain then immediately after the program we went to the presence of the lord and we began to thank the lord for one hour just the thanksgiving we were explaining his mercy and when we were describing his his uh, uh, his uh, abundant love and we began to thank the lord after our thanksgiving it began to rain heavy rain praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus saint paul in his letter to the ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 saint paul says whatever you do do by giving thanks to our heavenly father please listen to the word of god giving thanks to god the father at all times and for everything in the name of our lord jesus christ praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord so the the lord really wants each one of us to have this attitude whatever you do with thanksgiving to our heavenly father in jesus praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah that's why when we preach the word of god we say this word hallelujah or thank you jesus or praise you jesus because it's a sacrifice of uh, thanksgiving is very much pleasing to god praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus so praise you jesus praise, praise you jesus that's why in the book of psalms chapter 100 It's a very beautiful psalm. It's a very small one. And the psalmist say in verse 4, Enter his gates with the thanksgiving and his courts with the praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. That means when we thank the Lord, what happens? We enter into his gates. So in order to experience the presence and the power of the Lord, the Bible is reminding us the need of thanksgiving please close your eyes let us remember all the blessings the lord has showered upon us let us thank the lord for all the all his blessings and also let us thank the lord for all our shortcomings maybe for our sickness maybe for our anxiety whatever it is let us thank the let us thank the lord for everything st paul said do not worry about anything when you pray and do your supplications do it with the thanksgiving then the peace of the lord which surpasses all understanding will keep your minds and hearts in christ jesus now let us once again once again we thank the lord Lord we thank you thank you for everything thank you, thank you Jesus for everything thank you for your love thank you for your presence thank you for the cross thank you for everything thank you Jesus Lord thank you for teaching us the importance of the, the an attitude of gratitude thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Jesus you have given to me thank you Jesus For all the blessings that I cannot see Thank you Lord Thank you Lord For all you 
you've given to me thank you jesus for all the blessings that i cannot see thank you song of praise with an outstretched stars I will bless your name thank you Lord and I just want to thank you Lord thank you Lord and I just want to the best giving is thanksgiving praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord, lord. the presence of our lord jesus christ let us surrender all our trials and also all the temptations lord jesus we are we are here we are here with all our shortcomings many times we have failed when temptations came we are asking you are pardon and seek your mercy o lord jesus now we are here to give you honor and glory lord jesus you are always faithful even though we were faithless you were always faithful lord jesus now we offer our lives to you lord jesus we praise you jesus we glorify your name jesus, jesus. we thank you jesus. jesus we worship you jesus, jesus. we adore you jesus. jesus oh we glorify your name jesus, jesus. hallelujah jesus hallelujah. praise we you jesus we worship and adore you christ our king christ our king jesus We worship and 
Now we receive his blessing and we receive his anointing. Lord Jesus, bless us, O Lord. Anoint us, O Lord. Give us your power. We need your power. We need your strength, Lord. We need your strength so that we can overcome all temptations. Hallelujah. 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 Anoint your people. Touch your people. Deliver your people. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, we follow you together, and we follow you together. Christ our King, Christ our King, and we follow you together. Yes, we follow you together and we follow you together Christ our King Christ our King O sacrament most holy O sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving, be every moment mine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy. 